Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Farad Mashiri has said that Rafa Benitez will not be sacked. He got in touch with his old friend Jim White on TalkSport through text messages and um, he relayed the message. He said, football is about crisis one day and glory the following day. Rafa is a good manager and underperformance is largely due to the injuries. In the next two weeks, we will get a full squad and in the meantime, results will improve. Rafa needs time to have his mark on the squad. He will be supported to add depth to the squad. Managers need time. I have no doubt that we will have a strong second half of the season and it's going to be quite interesting to see whether Farhad Mashiri sticks to those words he has been um, known obviously not to back managers because he's sacked so many now um, interesting that he believes the squad will be in full strength in the next couple of weeks and he said he's going to back the manager which sounds like the manager will have money to spend come January um, which seems miles and miles away at the moment Um it's quite bullish. Uh, he will be at the game on Monday against Arsenal. It'll be interesting to see, obviously, the reactions of the team, the manager and the fans, certainly after last night's defeat um, to Liverpool with the fans singing Sack the Board uh, and Marcel Brands coming under some... Um, not abuse. He was asked questions and um, he answered the question. Um, it's going to be interesting. Michael Baller said in his column today in the Echo that it was a, a slap in the face for fans to communicate with them like this. And it is. I'll be honest. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace that Farad Mishiri still sends a text message to a friend at a national radio, radio station when he's got a whole media team that he could speak to and do a sit-down interview with them. I'm sure Everton's media team would love to be flown out to Monaco or wherever he is at the moment and do a sit-down interview about the situation at the football club. But to sit that, to just send a text, listen, it's really nice to hear from him because we very rarely hear anything from anyone at Everton Football Club. But it does seem like a um, bit of a joke to me, personally to me, and to Michael Ball as well, who's, who's obviously come out and said, let's see what happens, let's see whether he backs him, uh, sticks with him, obviously with um, lots of... Tough games ahead, in, in, you know, starting with that Arsenal game, followed by Crystal Palace, Chelsea, Leicester, uh, Burnley, Boxing Day. You know, not going to be easy. These games are not going to be easy. Um, Rafa Benitez himself spoke after the game. He said, we played against a very good team and made mistakes. After we scored our goal, the team was reacting well and the fans were behind the team. The atmosphere was good. We had chances and there was a reaction of the players and the reaction of the fans. But we made a, another mistake. And to be fair, he's right when Everton suffered a horrendous first 20 minutes in the Mayside derby. Settled down a little bit. Got the goal. And I think for the 15 minutes before half-time and the 15 minutes after half-time looked like looked like they were getting back into the game and they were making just a little bit difficult for Liverpool and were starting to ask a few questions. But unfortunately, a very, very poor mistake by Seamus Coleman has led to a third goal, which um, just simply eviscerated any kind of comeback that Everton were going to have in it and anything amongst the fans as well. So um, he's in a very tough position now. A lot of people are asking questions of Rafa Benitez. A lot of people are asking questions of the board, Marcel Brands, and it's, um, yeah, you know, it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks at Everton Football Club because we are right amongst it at the moment. We are right down there. We don't play till Monday, so who knows what our situation will look like on Monday. But uh, Rafa Benitez is obviously quite bullish and is still fighting his corner massively. Uh, Wayne Rooney was asked about the situation today in his press conference and Wayne Rooney's actually come in from 14 to 1 to 5 to 1 to be the next Everton manager. Doing a decent job at Derby County but obviously being the next Everton player he's going to be um, He's going to be amongst the betting, is he? He said, listen, there is always a reaction when you lose the derby. Obviously, it was disappointing result for Everton, and I'm sure, as we have seen often, there'll be a lot of speculation around that, but they just have to regroup. They are in a difficult period. Get through it, and I'm sure um, and I'm sure they will. He spoke today. As I said, he's come in on the betting from 14 to 1 to 5 to 1, so obviously sounds like someone's had a big bet on him, but I don't see... I wouldn't ever see the point... 
of putting someone like Wayne Rooney in charge when you've got someone like Duncan Ferguson who's been around the club for a while. Obviously, listen, there's a lot of other people out there who are um, a lot more qualified and have a lot more experience. But, um, yeah, Wayne Rooney's had his say on the matter. Um, in other news, Everton under 23 has lost 3 0 last night to Peterborough United in the Premier League Cup. Uh, Ellis Sims was playing in that game uh, and on Yango was playing in that game. It's quite funny that on Sunday, you know, a lot of people was, you know, Ella Sims is the should be starting or should be coming on. And then last night at the Mayside Derby, he finds himself playing against Peter B United in a 3-0 defeat. <sighs> I think that that sort of says a lot about the football club and where it is at the moment. There you go. Don't forget, check out the final word from last night. A lot of emotion in that one make sure you check that out that is available now make sure you do that uh check out patreon if you want live daily videos as well and um give this video a like and subscribe to the channel see you later